Hi kids, we are back for part two of nonfiction sequence text structure. If you did not have a chance to go back and do lesson one from last week, I suggest you do that lesson before this lesson as this lesson builds upon the lesson from last week. Okay, let's get started. So we were talking about nonfiction text structures. Text structure is how an author organizes the information he wants to share with you. Um, an author can organize it by description in which he focuses on one topic and describes different parts of it. An author can focus on sequence in which that author goes, um, describes things based upon a time order, like a first, next, last, or a um, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, it's a time order. An author can use compare and contrast where he has two topics and he's comparing the similarities and the differences. An author can use cause and effect text structure where he um, really builds upon those relationships of where one thing makes something else happen. And an author can also build his text based upon problem and solution where there is a problem and the text focuses on coming up with a solution for that problem. We are focusing our attention on sequence text structure using signal words for a time order to help us understand the text that we are reading. So let's review. Sequence text structure is when things are written in a time order. That time order can use sequence words like this, such as first, second, third, and finally, before, after, during, or next, can also use dates and times on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, in the morning, in the afternoon, at night. In 1992, in 2001, in 2019, at 8 o'clock a.m., at 10 o'clock a.m., at 10 o'clock p.m. You get the idea. Sequence happens in an order. Last week, we looked at this example here. And our keywords first, next, and finally helped us organize those events in our brains to help us understand what we read about. We talked about how authors use sequence text structure to show the order in which something happens, to show how to do something or make something, or to show a series of events. It can also be called time, order, or temporal order in addition to sequence order. The structures from a point in one time to another and dates and times can signal that this is a sequence text structure. When we're reading, we ask ourselves some questions such as what is the first event, the next event, and the last event? How long is it from the first event to the last event? And what is it talking about? What is it explaining? Last week, we read two passages, The History of Disney World and Caring for Creatures. Let me move myself a little bit here. There we go. We found the sequence signal words in both passages, and then we used those signal sequence words to fill out a graphic organizer that labeled what happened first, next, then, and so on until we got to the end. When we find those signal words, that's the first step at understanding, the first step at comprehending. Then we can go back and read about more about each of those signal words. We pick different graphic organizers. If you remember, last week I said there is no right or wrong answer here, kids. You pick a graphic organizer that's going to help you organize the events in what you read. These are just some examples. I showed you how to use this one last week and this one last week. So that means this week I'm gonna show you how to use this one and this one. Now, something different this week. Instead of just giving you a passage and I'm telling you that that passage is a sequence text structure, I have three passages for you. I'm going to read each passage and as I'm reading, I want you to decide is passage A a sequence text structure? Is passage B a sequence text structure, or is passage C a sequence text structure? Think about that as I read. Remember, you're looking for a time order, things happening from one point in time to another point in time.
You're looking for keywords such as first, next, then, and last, or you're looking for time signal words such as dates, um, months, years, those types of things. Okay, passage A, Selena Gomez's fast track career. Singer and actress Selena Gomez began her career in 2002 on the TV show Barney. After her time on Barney, she played several small roles in movies like Spy Kids. In 2006, Selena was a guest star in several episodes of Disney Channel shows. In 2007, Selena became the star of her own successful show, Wizards of Waverly Place. While still starring in the show, she released her first music album. Okay, think. Do you see any words that pinpoint you to it being told in a sequence? I'm not telling you the answer yet because we have two other passages. Passage B, female artists take the stage. Singers Taylor Swift and Carrie Underwood have taken the world by storm. Taylor Swift is six years younger than Carrie and began her music career at the age of 14. After moving from Pennsylvania to Nashville, although Carrie didn't move to Nashville, she did take a trip to the city at the age of 14 to audition for a record deal. Similarly, both ladies began their careers in 2005, with Carrie winning the TV show American Idol and Taylor recording her first album. Even though both girls began as country singers, Taylor Swift has branched out to become a popular pop singer. Both ladies have had very successful careers, with Swift winning over 200 awards and Carrie winning over 100. Take a moment and think. Are there any signal words for a sequence text structure? Again, I'm not telling you yet. We have got one more. Passage C, protecting the famous. Being a celebrity comes with its challenges, privacy and security being the main ones. To keep themselves safe from paparazzi, people who follow celebrities and take pictures or video of them, excited fans and even angry people, celebrities have a few solutions. They can hire personal security to follow them around everywhere. They can have security cameras and teams in their homes, and they can even purchase cars with special glass and doors to keep them safe from the outside. Again, ask yourself, are there signal words for a sequence text structure? Only one of these passages is organized by sequence. If you picked A, Selena Gomez's fast track career, then you are right. This text is organized by a sequence text structure. It's clearly organized in 2002, in 2006, and 2007. It's going through a progression of events that happened in this person's life. You might say, well, Mrs. Snyder, I see the year 2005 over here where my mouse is. True, I see a year too, but just because there's a year doesn't make it sequence. There are no other years starting at one point in time to another, like this passage over here. Now, let's take our passage and let's choose a graphic organizer. I'm going to use this one because I have three different things that happened. I'm going to label the year up here in the event and then I'm gonna use this box to show the description. Let me show you. Okay, so I wanna make sure I understand what happened in this text. I'm gonna start by labeling 2002. If I go back and reread around that date, I find that Selena Gomez began her career on the TV show Barney. In 2006, if I go back and reread, I find out that she guest starred on several episodes um, of Disney Channel shows. And my next date is 2007. If I go back and reread, I find out that she became the star of her own show, Wizards of Waverly Place, and she released her first album. Notice there's nothing here because I don't have anything else to add. That's okay. We're only filling out what's there in our text. We have three significant dates, three significant events that we want to remember from that sequence text structure. It started in 2002, and this text took us to 2007. Let's do one more. Again, I've got three passages. I'll read each one to you. You decide which passage is written in a sequence text structure. 
Look for clue words that we've been learning. Passage A, iPads for everyone. Right here, kids. In 2013, the Los Angeles Public School District in California began its goal of giving every student in their schools, all 650,000 of them, an iPad. During the first year, the school district spent $30 million to purchase the devices. Schools are planning to replace regular textbooks with iPads and download educational apps and software to better prepare students for the 21st century. Ask yourself, is this passage told in a sequence order, a time order? Not going to tell you because we have two more. Passage B, lunch is in the garden. In 1994, Chef Alice Waters began the Edible Schoolyard Project, an opportunity for students at Martin Luther King Jr. Middle School to grow and prepare their own fresh foods. First, the students spend 90 minutes in the garden each week learning how to prepare the soil and how to best and how best to plant certain seeds. Then, they learn to tend their garden and eventually harvest the crops. Finally, they even have the opportunity to learn how to prepare the fresh fruits and vegetables and turn them into lunches and other healthy treats. Ask yourself, is this text organized in a sequence text structure? Are there signal words that pop out at you? Okay, we've got one more passage, passage C, taking learning outside. One school in Colorado is thinking outside the box when it comes to learning, literally. Instead of learning inside the walls of a regular school, fourth grade students at fourth grade students at school in the woods spend their days outside exploring the natural sciences while still perfecting their math and reading skills. While they still learn, they do so outside, studying angles on trees, the history of the woods they reside in, and how to classify different animal tracks. They even have a garden to grow their own food. It's a unique learning experience unlike any other. Think, does that passage have signal words to show a sequence text structure? Okay, only one of these passages is a sequence passage. Can you figure out which one? If you chose passage B, you are right. Let's look at our signal words. We start with a date in 1994, and then we have a clear first, then finally, we have a very clear sequence order here. We're starting at one point in time and ending at another. Again, you might say, Mrs. Snyder, right here it says 2013. I know it does. Dates can be used in a text structure that is not sequence. That's the only date that's there. There are no other signal words that show a time order. Passage B is our sequence text structure. Now to understand it more, we want to pick a graphic organizer that's going to work for us to help us understand what the passage was about. I'm picking this one. Again, there's no right or wrong answer. I want to show you what each graphic organizer looks like so that it helps you decide what's best for you for each passage. Now, you see I tailored it a little bit. I took out a word here and I changed to first then and finally to match my keywords that are here. You may always do that. You may always tailor a graphic organizer to meet your needs. Let me show you. So right here we have a date. I'm gonna use that date in my first box here without any signal word because my signal word is the date in 1994. And if I do some rereading, I find out that's when the Edible Schoolyard Project began. Based on that project, we have an order of what happens in that project. First, if we do some rereading, we find out that's where students spent 90 minutes a week learning how to prepare the soil and to plant seeds. Our next keyword takes us to our next event. Then, that's where students learn to take care of the garden and to harvest the crops that are growing. And our last keyword, finally, if we do some rereading, we find out that the final part of the schoolyard project is when students learn how to use the fruits and vegetables they grow in their lunches and for treats. Okay, that's it for today's lesson. Today, we continue to talk about sequence text structure. 
we looked at three passages and we decided on our own this time which of those passages had a sequence text structure. When you open your assignment in Google Classroom for this week, you are going to be doing the same thing. You have three passages to choose from. You are going to choose which one is a sequence text structure and you're gonna fill out a graphic organizer. If you have any questions, you know to send me a message on Google Classroom or send me an email. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. I'll see you next time, kids. Bye.